This video will guide you through the installation of a 2009-2010 ZX6 PC5 and Autotune install. First, remove the right and left hand side covers around the fuel tank. Remove the bolt on each side of the seat and remove the seat. Remove the steering dampener. This can be done in one of two ways. Remove the two bolts securing the front of the fuel tank. Unplug the 4-pin connector for the fuel pump near the battery. Remove the fuel tank vent lines. Depending on your model, you may not have a red line. Prop the front of the fuel tank up. The installation of the PC5 can be done without completely removing the fuel tank. For easier access, you can remove the fuel tank by pulling down on the red clip. Then gently pull on the fuel line to remove. Remove the bolt at the rear of the fuel tank and remove fuel tank from motorcycle. Remove the rear seat. Remove the two bolts to remove the tail section panel. Route the PC5 harness from the tail section and go down the left hand side of the bike. Unplug the stock wiring harness from each of the lower injectors. These connectors can be difficult to remove. Using a set of needle nose pliers may aid in removing these connectors. Plug the PC5 harness in line of the stock wiring harness and each injector. The orange colored wires of the PC5 go to the number one cylinder. The yellow colored wires of the PC5 go to cylinder number two. The green colored wires of the PC5 go to cylinder number three. And the blue colored wires of the PC5 go to cylinder number four. Attach the ground wire of the PC5 to the negative side of the battery. Using the supplied posi tap, attach the gray wire of the PC5 to the TPS signal. This is best connected at the ECU. Attach to the yellow wire with white stripe of the left ECU plug. The PC5 install is now complete. If you are installing the Auto-Tune, follow the remaining instructions. We recommend using a paper clip or small screwdriver to poke the hole on the Autotune module. Poke through the felt and wire the O2 sensor harness into the Autotune module according to the color-coded sticker on the back of the module. Route the O2 sensor harness from the tail section and go down the left-hand side of the bike. Install the black plastic can termination plug into one of the open ports of the PC5. Run the can termination plug from one of the ports of the PC5 and then into the Autotune. Make sure this cable and can termination plug click when fully seated. To supply power to the Autotune module, use the supplied posi tap to attach the red wire of the Autotune module to the red wire of the tail light connector. Continue routing the Autotune harness through the tail section.
attach the ground wire of the auto-tune to the negative side of the battery or other suitable chassis ground. Route the O2 harness down the right hand side of the bike. Plug the auto-tune module O2 harness into the wideband connector which has previously been installed on the bike for this video. If calibrating the PC5 based on gear position, connect a wire from the PC5 to the yellow wire of the speed sensor. If calibrating the PC5 based on temperature, connect a wire from the PC5 to the orange wire of the ECU. This is pin number 9 of the left ECU connector. The PC5 installation and auto-tune installation are now complete.